Hi, today we're going to be talking about the composition of functions. The composition operation is unique to functions. In other words, numbers you can multiply and divide and add and subtract just like you can with functions like we saw in a previous section. But with functions, you can actually compose the two functions. You can put g of x into f of x to create a new function. This is a property that numbers don't have. And so it's, it's unique in that sense to functions. Now we have to be careful with domain. The domain of our composition um, has to first be, um, you have to, our x has to satisfy the domain of g, and then the outputs of g have to go into the domain of f. So we have to be careful right there. So let's start with our first example. Uh, given that f of x is 3x plus 1 and g of x is x squared plus x minus 3, what is f composed with g? So this is a new function called f composed with g. And um, this is just notation. It's a name for this new function, f composed with g. But what we mean by it is we plug g into f of x. We, t we take a x, we let g operate on it, and we take that answer and we plug it into f. So what that looks like in this case, well, uh, let's just see what g does to x. g takes x and it squares a number, it adds x, and it subtracts 3. So g would take x to this new object. Now this new object we're going to plug into f. Now this is not multiplication between f, but we're plugging it into f. So um, f takes a number, multiplies by 3, and adds 1. So we're going to take 3, we're going to multiply it by all this stuff, and then... Um, add 1 to that afterwards. Now keep in mind there's still a little bit of simplification here, uh, but that is the composition of f composed with g. And in that order, you do g first and then you do f. All right, just a little bit of simplification. You get 3x squared plus 3x minus 9 plus 1, and then the, the minus 9 and the plus 1 can combine, and so you get 3x squared plus 3x minus 8. So there we have um, our f composed with g. Now let's go the other direction. Let's, let's do the g composed with f. It's going to look very different actually. So g composed with f. Um, so now we're taking f first. f is going to act on x first and then g is going to act. So, um, so let's do it. So f acts on x. It takes you to 3x plus 1. And so this is the output of f for a given input x. We take that whole thing, we plug it into g. So g takes a number, 3x plus 1. It squares it. It's, it. It adds that number, 3x plus 1, and then it subtracts 3. So, um, so this is g of 3 of x plus 1. This is, this is our composite function. Now we'd like to go ahead and do some, um, some simplification of all this. So let's go ahead and foil everything out. You get 9x squared, you get a 6x, you get a plus 1. Um, we have a 3x, we have a, a 1, and a minus 3. So uh, again, we're just, just simplifying it here a little bit. Um, 9x squared, there's no other x squares. You have a 6x, um, a 3x, that's 9x. And then you have a plus 1. Plus 1 is 2 minus 3. 2 minus 3 is a negative 1. So this would be the simplified version of our composition. So just see how f composed with g looks very different. Um, so they're both quadratics. Uh, but this quadratic, 9x squared plus 9x minus 1. This quadratic, 3x squared plus 3x minus 8.